At a school in Juba, hundreds of pupils gather together, curiously listening and mimicking the actions of Nepalese military medics as they demonstrate proper hand washing and hygiene techniques. Moses, a young boy attending the school, is among the curious listeners, and the techniques seem to have quickly struck a chord with him. We wash our hands because the disease, when you come in the toilet, you get many diseases. When you want to eat, you wash your hand. When you come from the toilet, you wash your hand. To be clean, not disease come. It was an important lesson for Moses on an important day for his school, Queen's Nursery and Primary School, when peacekeepers from the United Nations mission in South Sudan adopted it this week to contribute to its continued development and growth. Located in Nakitun village, just outside the Unmis base in Juba, the school rose from the ashes of the July 2016 crisis and reopened just last February with only 50 pupils in attendance. Now, several hundreds of pupils are enrolled, bringing a beacon of hope to the community. Yet the pupils need protection, not only from harm originating from conflict, but also from disease-causing pathogens. On Wednesday, peacekeepers paid the school a special visit as part of their commitment to the learners and the community with proper hygiene as one of the things to impart to their protégés. The peacekeepers are mindful of one fact. The people of South Sudan are at a high risk of communicable diseases due to overcrowding and poor water, sanitation, and hygiene conditions. Proper hand washing techniques and hygiene promotion can remove pathogens, reduce disease, and literally save lives. Salina, a teacher at Queen's Nursery and Primary School, emphasized how education can boost proper hygiene amongst pupils. I hope this one in this way, by so doing, it will prevent them from getting kaizen and it will even encourage them to know, to learn how they can manage to maintain their bodies. The peacekeepers' engagement with the local school, led by the office of the UNMIS Deputy Force Commander, is part of the mission's civil military cooperation program to interact with the people of South Sudan on the local level. From the battalion headquarters, we have an uh, annual shimik program. Uh, we'll conduct these things in various places, uh, in South Sudan, in Juba, and in other uh, places also. So this is, we want to uh, go closer with the um, people and we want to help something with, like this orphanage. We are here to s support them. It will prove like that. Uh, we, are gave, we gave today the bath to the small children orphanage and we gave food and some school bags and sports. And that's, it will definitely it will improve the relation between the public and Anvish. Following the hand washing demonstration and hygiene awareness activity, the peacekeepers presented learners with new backpacks, scholastic materials, and sporting items to bolster their education. As a final treat, children, teachers, and parents were invited for a tasty chicken curry lunch, which they gobbled up with delight. <laughs> UNMIS staff members also donated uniforms to 250 pupils last July, and the peacekeeping mission will continue to support the school as a part of helping to build a durable peace in the country through education.